How's it going, guys? Today we're going to be watching a, a show called Line Up from a channel called Cut, where they line up a bunch of people, <laughs> they just make accusations, and they guess sometimes some inappropriate things about the people in that lineup. Uh, but today's is Teachers, Guess Who's High? So basically, this is just an episode of My Life in High School. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, go ahead and like and subscribe. It doesn't matter if you haven't seen my content. It's easy to do. It's free. And if at the end of the video you feel like plucking your eyes out because you hate me, you can always unsubscribe. It's also free. If you're a returning subscriber, what up? Welcome back. It's really good to see you. Is that too much? I don't know, dude. Let's sit back, get comfy, dude. Go ahead and grab some fucking snacks and let's just fucking get absolutely blazed to this. My name is Brian. I'm a high school English teacher. My name is Emily. I teach new immigrants who are learning English. I am a youth services agent. Uh, I will abstain from that question. <laughs> Every day, I work with kids. How is working with children an appropriate answer to do you get high? Not to be on my high horse. <laughs> okay. What's your name? Jacob. Cool. Jacob, nice to meet nice you. To meet and you. how do you spell that? J-A-C-O-B. Okay, no, no K? No K. No? Okay. I'm not exactly sure what her tactic is here. I'm, I'm assuming that she thinks that somebody who's stoned would buckle under the pressure of having to spell their own name. Uh, immediately, this man is high. <laughs> I have some questions. Um, sure. What do grapefruits have to do with grapes? Uh, I don't think they have... Is this a joke? No, it's an actual question. Oh, um, I don't know. What do, what do they have to do with grapes? I don't know, you tell me. I don't know, you thought... You... <laughs> is, that, is that teacher fucking stoned? What kind of a question is that, dude? So I would not say a stoner looking at this guy. Why is there an uh, interstate in Hawaii? I don't know, why is there an interstate anywhere? You got an interstate? I don't think he's high. Okay, okay, hi! I think he might be intoxicated. That guy's fucking stone, dude. Hey, so what do you think of the book? I like it. <laughs> That's what I do just to see. And usually they do smell very much like they're like man perfume. He's already fucking all giggly and shit. Also that little move where she leaned in to sniff him. I can't even tell you how many times that happened to me in high school. Never with success. Why don't we go to page uh, 12? I want to read this uh, section here. Fuck. <laughs> I think he's high. <laughs> I think you are high. <laughs> kind of fucking called it, right? That's an inexperienced man who's gotten high and found himself in a situation that was just awkward to be in. Hi. My name is Emily. Emily James. James, nice to meet you, James. Can I hug you? Sure. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Okay. She's obviously just hugging him to fucking get a little, get her little sniffer into his neck and smell if there's any doobage on this man. And I'm gonna go ahead and guess that guy does smoke weed. I don't know if he's high here, but, but I mean, he's rocking the Canadian tuxedo. Nobody wears denim on denim like that and hasn't fucked around with the devil's lettuce. How long have you been smoking cigarettes? Uh, probably 60 years. Do you do impressions? I do, but I do impressions of people that you don't know. I don't do them on purpose. They just pop out sometimes. It's just something that happens once in a while, and I notice it, but nobody else notices it. <laughs> but I know that I'm doing an impression of this person. Can you sing a nursery rhyme? No. <laughs> she just has a flashlight. <laughs> Takes it out of her holster, spins it around her finger. You fucking smoking, dude? You smoked up? Fucking smoked up? Spell your name. Seems like cheating. You just have to you have tools with you. <laughs> She's putting in the work. I'll say that much. Yeah, I think you're high. Not high. I think he's quite sober. Something tells me you do smoke weed. This man is high. <laughs> yeah, and that confirmed it. So thank you. <laughs> Good to know. And he just left. He didn't. Nobody said anything. So feel the, the the need to give you a hug as well. Can I do that? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. If I ever had a teacher ask to hug me, I would be so weirded out by that <laughs> and would 100% say no, so. And, um, Let me just let you know, you made it very hard for me to say no. 
Hey, I got a, I got a good sniffer. Do you want a little snack? Yeah. Did you say, yeah? Okay. These are one of my favorites. The flaming Hot Cheetos. This guy's fucking cheating too, man. Flashlights and tasty snacks. Flamin' Hot Cheetos are so good. You don't have to be stoned to enjoy them. The same way that you can probably still spell your name when you're stoned. You don't have to be high to uh, enjoy a bag of Flaming Hot Cheetos. Do you like spicy food? Yeah, I, I like spicy food. I'm half Mexican, so. No. What'd you smell? I don't know why that shit's, that shit was very funny. Do you like busting your suits? Yeah. Oh, I don't. I just felt like I had a responsibility to, to look out for the other students. Yeah. I'm in a portable classroom, so like there's not a lot of ventilation in there. So it was like a hot box in there. Oh. And all the other kids are just like, the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> what did you just have? You just had students who are literally fucking sparking up in the middle of class. I don't think that guy knows how weed works. <laughs> it's like a hot box in here. Literally no smoke. I think you're high. Because I'm black, you think I'm high? You're black? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, no. The lids are kind of low. I think it's probably high. You're just camp, you're just camping on the... <laughs> <laughs> Not to break it. <laughs> you're just camping on the Cheetos. Yeah, because they're fucking good, man. <laughs> Damn, it's Sideshow Bob. It's fucking Sideshow Bob Marley, dude. <laughs> He's high. <laughs> Did you smoke weed in high school? No. Oh my god, no. Can you go to page 37? That's 36. Okay, 37. cool. What's the title of this chapter? What the Germans lack. Oh, okay. Good. She's operating under this false premise that people who smoke weed can't fucking read, I guess. And even if he were to have a difficulty in this time, it's not an indicator of being high as much as it is that he's being filmed. He's sitting in a school desk in an all-white room, and somebody's interrogating him, asking him to speak publicly. I don't think so, no. I think you are not high. I smoke weed a lot, bro. You and I almost look exactly like we shop at the same place. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite country, crunchy food or snack? Carrots, you know. Mm. Uh, let's see the Nietzsche. She's dressed like a, like an arts major come to life. She's dressed like a second grade teacher who only got into the job because she loves finger painting. <laughs> so why do you think Nietzsche says it provokes mistrust? And just like, <laughs> I think she's high. <laughs> I don't think you're high, but you seem really fun to smoke with. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That guy's entire tactic is just immediately when he makes face-to-face -face contact with someone, he just goes, you're fucking high, dude. That's, that's his whole tactic. And honestly, it seems like it's working pretty well for the most part. So far, I'm gonna say guy in the gray hoodie with the white stripes, super fucking high. Dude in the denim, definitely high. Guy in the red hoodie, sideshow Bob, definitely high. Uh, the second grade teacher who finger paints, stoned as hell, dude. Currently being talked to, I'm gonna say stoned. But uh, working really hard to make you think that she's not. Is that a oh, racial thing? No, it's not a racial thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Want um, some Doritos? Kind of, but they make my hands all cheesy. Why well, just give them to you too? I can feed them to you. Oh, is that weird? Yeah, it's, I'm already not thinking. <laughs> oh well, okay. Well, then, never mind. If I was in her position, I wouldn't want somebody feeding me finger foods. What were you gonna ask? I feel like you were gonna say something. I don't think she's high. You're the one eating all these. No. I think I, you're high. No, she's pretty. When I'm high in front of other people, I try to be as sober as possible. So I think you might be a little high. Hello. I, I feel like you look like a stoner, so. <laughs> this guy's the biggest red herring I've, I've ever seen. He's in there to throw you off the fucking trail. Cause yeah, you're wearing, he's literally wearing stoner clothes. And I will say, he looks pretty fucking sick, but I, I'm willing to bet that this is to throw you off the trail. I feel like this is a trick. Or did you think you said that? Oh, fuck off. Are you hungry? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what would you want to eat right now? Well, they said they were gonna give us pizza. Yeah? So I'm just... You're waiting I'm for that pizza? waiting for the pizza. Do you have, like, a snack that you, that you go for Cookies. each time? 
Or what kind of cookies? Chocolate chip. Always? Always. I'm a snickerdoodle kind of guy Actually, myself. wait, let me think about that. I was always anti like oatmeal raisin for a long time, mm -hmm. but those are like super moist. So you grow up and you hit a point of maturity, you're like, okay, I understand why oatmeal cookies exist. <laughs> Very much so agree with oatmeal raisin cookies fucking being the goddamn bomb, dude. They're so good. And they're so largely ignored in the cookie industry. I'm just, honestly, if there's anything that this channel can do, it's to fight back against Big Cookie and just free the boys, dude. Free the boy, oatmeal raisin. Free that boy. You wanna see the tattoo? <laughs> you got a tattoo? <laughs> yeah, let me see it. Shit. Why? What does it signify? It's my What's favorite. It's my favorite dessert. <laughs> He's down. <laughs> I'm gonna say you're not high, but you really wanna get fucking high. Not high. Not only were you able to hold the conversation with me, but once or twice you actually jumped in over me. I like almost like uh, what's it called? Interrupting. Oh. But I like that you tried to fake me out. Raise your hand if you're high. Damn it. We did it. We fucking did it, guys. We fucking killed it. Wait, did I miss anyone? No. I literally nailed that shit. Is that good? Is it good that I nailed that? Or does it just make me the best at profiling? Perfect. Good job, you guys. So there you go, guys. That's Lineup from Cut. Uh, otherwise known as the easiest game I've ever played. Yeah. <sighs> It's kind of my wheelhouse. This is the chill zone, so, you know, what are we gonna fucking do, dude? I can tell who's fucking chill and who's not chill. That's just, that's a part of, that's what I do, it's who I am. This is your second reminder, if you like this video, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, you'll be notified when I upload. You want that. You wanna know when I upload, and I want you to know, and we're doing this weird kind of fucking dance thing where we're like, oh, maybe you'll watch it, maybe they won't watch it. Let's just cut the shit, dude. Let's cut the shit. You belong here, welcome home. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. I gotta go get some oatmeal raisin cookies. Thanks for hanging out with me. Peace. I'm half Mexican, so. No. What'd you smoke? He's hot. <laughs>